But first, let's talk about the different kinds of blemishes that you can get from acne. And personally, I had cystic acne. Mm -hmm. And then you just mentioned cystic acne when I was in maybe 16, 17 years old. And you know, when you're a teenager, it's, it's the end of the world. So talk to us a little bit about these different types of acne that we're seeing on the skin. Well, you have um, blackheads and you have whiteheads, um, papules and pustules and nodules. Um, this is a, an example of their skin with a whitehead and the oil, and the bacteria okay. develops into the, the gland, and if it's not touched, it could stay just like a whitehead and then resorb back down. But if it gets aggravated, then the bacteria goes in and causes a lot of inflammation. Right. If you pick an acne, then it could actually rupture a quarter out, and then three quarters ruptures under here. The body sees it, it doesn't need it anymore. So you're actually making it worse when you... And, and then a small little white bump turns into a big red area, and then you can actually damage the collagen and then get some acne scarring um, that can occur here. So um, untreated acne, as in a teenager, it could actually continue on and becoming um, more of a scarring, a permanent scarring. Mm -hmm. um, then you have blackheads, which is basically this area that's open and it's oxidized by the air. Like if you cut an apple and, you cut, and it turns brown. Right. And then there's the deeper cystic ones that are down in this area here um, that causes the big bulge and then you can get a larger infection like a furuncle or a carbuncle I and mean, then you need to definitely take some antibiotics for that um, and take care of it topically as well.